Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and I have hamsters and today I wanted to do an episode about Shirley's 75 gallon tank. So today I'm going to clean it and just kind of spruce it up and then add a few new items. Um, I didn't really feel like before her tank had a great design <laughs> to it. So this time I bought a few things to hopefully improve it, make it seem more aesthetically pleasing and then also more enjoyable to Shirley. Hopefully that would be the main goal here. So she hasn't really had a deep clean since I put her in this 75 gallon uh, tank. And if you've seen the episode, I'll link to it below, but I found this tank outside behind my apartment a few months ago. So she's been in it maybe like four months and I've cleaned, you know, parts of it, but I never really did a deep clean uh, since I put her in it. So I decided, you know, I'm just gonna do, get rid of most of it here and start her off fresh. So I, st I added some, what was left of my orchard grass hay, and then I used small pet select paper bedding. And because I didn't have a ton of bedding, I just kind of did this temporarily and set her back up and then I went back once I had the rest of the bedding. I recently made the switch to small pet select paper bedding. I was having trouble finding KT Clean and Cozy for some reason, it just like was never available. And Small Pet Select is actually really affordable for me uh, and it comes in this enormous bag, I mean so much. So I, I just bought a huge bag of it and then I got uh, smaller Ziplocs and I've been freezing it for 48 hours uh, before I use it in my hamster cages. So it's just taking time for me to get enough bedding built up there. So there's the um, Night Angel Super Silent Wheel and then the green wheel is the KT Comfort Wheel. And those were the wheels I had in her cage for a while, but I ended up switching it out, which you'll see the new wheels later. And here I am adding some hemp bedding. And if you didn't see my hemp bedding episode, I will link to that below. I recently have been experimenting with it a little bit. Here's Shirley coming out to see what was going on. She likes to sleep in that little white cardboard box there. That's like her favorite spot. So I stopped putting bedding down for a while to until she went under. So now that she has more bedding, I put her items back and I was waiting for her new items to come before I really did the cage reorg. And finally, I sprinkled some flowers from Oakwood Forest. I love these flowers. They just look beautiful and they smell nice and my ham hamsters seem to love them. So it's a win-win. And here she is just kind of exploring a little bit, going back into her box. So here are the new items I got from Night Angel. I got that bridge, which I'm gonna use in a playpen. So I'll show you that later. Here is the cloud hide that I got. I love this cloud hide. It's just whimsical, but still natural looking. Has an open bottom. And this cloud hide is really made for dwarf hamsters. The opening is about two and a quarter inches. So if you have a Syrian, they do have Syrian versions of both of these hides. So just make sure you get the Syrian size so your hamster doesn't get stuck in the opening. Probably two inches would make a Syrian get stuck, but maybe if they had really full cheek pouches. So not worth the risk. And this is little Shirley exploring them. She seemed to like it, so. Good review so far. All right, so now that I have the new items, I'm gonna add them in. I gave a little more bedding this time again. <laughs> And this time I added the Night Angel Dark Clouds wheel. Uh, I had given that to Steven, my Roborowski hamster, um, but he wasn't using it for some reason. I don't know if he doesn't like the cork lining. I'm not sure what it is. He's very particular, so I decided to give it to Shirley and see if she likes it. The other wheel you'll see that's in the sand bath, that is the Zacro acrylic wheel that's 8.7 inches. It's also a great wheel. I found that my dwarf hamsters love this wheel. So uh, it's also very silent. So if you're looking for a great 
Dwarf Hamster Wheel. I think the Zachary Acrylic is, it's, it's a good deal and it's not too expensive and it's, it's held up for me pretty well. So I decided to put both the Night Angel Hide and then the Cloud Hide on top of it over on that corner and then the cork log kind of leading from it onto her platform hide. I also got some new sprays and flower mixes from Redwood Grove, which is a California-based company. So you'll see I did add some sprays in here for her. I didn't add a lot because she is the kind of hamster who will eat them all in one sitting. So even <laughs> she's a little on the plump side, so I don't want to make that any worse. Um, so I did add a few, but I made them kind of difficult to get to. And here she really is exploring her new cage. This is her coconut fiber digging area. She loves digging in here. You can see all the flowers that I added. And she's such a sweetie. So really the only major change is kind of like the wheels and then those two night angel hides, but it did give her a, a quite a few more nooks and crannies. And I think aesthetically, it just made the whole cage look a bit better. Now it has this kind of natural theme with a few pops of the light pastels of that green and her water bottle is like a pastel blue. But it really looks nice. When I walk by it in the hallway, I think, oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and she just looks so cute in it. And ever since we put her in this new, newly redesigned cage, uh, she seems really happy because we haven't seen her in a few days. And usually that means that she's a busy bee. And I have been checking my hamster night cam and she is uh, pretty active at night lately, which is great. She's been running a lot on the Zacro acrylic wheel, a little bit on the night angel wheel. Um, that seems to be a slower start. And here she is trying to get one of the sprays I left for her. I actually thought she would get the spray by going on top of the cork log. So this, I didn't anticipate she would do it this way, <laughs> but it's pretty cute. You can see she has a scar on her, on her mouth. She came like that, we got her from a hamster rescue. And um, I'm not sure, I think she came from a backyard breeder situation where she was housed with a lot of other hamsters. So we try to spoil her. But somehow she ended up just being so sweet, even though she probably lived a not so glamorous life before. I will put links to everything that I have in this cage down below in case you're interested in checking them out for yourself. And if you have any questions or comments or feedback, I always love to hear from all of you. So please leave me a comment below and I hope to see you at my next video. Thanks so much for watching.